how many of you guys have gotten this so what does this say video player will be blocked after three videos not me 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 okay so like we're looking at about 40 percent of people it seems something like that maybe 50. Uh, it looks like you may be using an ad blocker. Video playback will be blocked unless YouTube is allow listed. Right, because white listed is racist because white and black only exist with people. Even though no people are actually white and no people are actually black, it's just mainly shades of tan and brown. Uh, that doesn't matter. Yeah, common sense went out the window anyway. But there you go. Let's see here. Uh, or the ad blocker is disallowed. Ads allow YouTube to be used by billions worldwide. You can go ad free with YouTube Premium and creators can still get paid from your subscription. Allow YouTube ads or try YouTube Premium. Uh, yeah, so this is obviously going to happen. And I think that really guys, uh, it kind of makes sense that YouTube and a lot of these other websites are gonna try to do this. The truth is that uh, they're right. If everybody used ad blocker, the website could not function. In the same way that I think that it's ridiculous to get outraged and angry at a person for using ad blocker, I think that it's equally out it's it's equally ridiculous to get outraged and angry for people trying to stop people from using ad blocker. Because the truth is that yes, if everybody used ad blocker, then the website couldn't function. And everybody who's using ad blocker knows that. But they're doing it because they don't want to see the ads and that's it. Which is fine. But let's not act indignant here that they don't want to lose money. If YouTube introduces this, I will go fix my life. No, you won't. No, you won't. You will not fix your life. Make ads not waste people's time. Well, the truth is that uh, you, you do have the option to make an ad not waste your time. You just don't consume the content that the ad is associated with. Like, nobody has to watch a YouTube video, right? Uh, people are watching YouTube videos for entertainment. So it seems kind of weird how people feel like they have this uh, this entitlement to watch YouTube videos and watch content for free on the internet while giving literally nothing in return. Maybe something like this just doesn't function very well in the real world. And again, you can say it's not your problem, but that's fine. But whenever they make it your problem, don't be surprised. I stopped watching TV because of the ads. I can do it again. No, you didn't. You didn't stop watching TV. You started watching YouTube. You're not going to just stop consuming entertainment. It's just like such a, it, it's such a, like a, an idiot way to look at things. Oh, I stopped watching TV. Yeah, you stopped watching it because you went to something else that was better. Right now, YouTube is the main platform for videos. If there was another website that did the same thing that YouTube did, that didn't have ads and had the same level of quality and popularity, then yes, you could make that argument. But do you think that I believe that a single person actually is going to stop consuming content on YouTube? No, I don't think so. Rumble? Rumble has ads. People expecting free entertainment without giving anything in return is crazy. It is. No question marking, but he's right. YouTube is about broadcasting yourself in a start, but now it's essentially a better version of TV. Well, people question mark me because they don't have an actual argument. The truth is that, uh, yeah, obviously YouTube is going to want people to see the ads because the ads are how YouTube makes money. So if nobody sees the ads, YouTube doesn't make any money and the website doesn't exist. If you don't like that, then don't watch the videos. Everybody goes into it and they know what they're getting into. We all understand what this what this transaction is. People willfully decide not to indu not to indulge in it because they don't want to see the ads. Totally fine. Do what you want. But don't be surprised whenever YouTube makes it harder for you to do that. That's it. It's common fucking sense. I dream of a world where ads are against the law. Why would it be against the law to have an advertisement? Do you know how ridiculous you sound? You sound like such a fucking moron. Imagine if every single thing that other people didn't like, they just got together and made a law against it. Nobody would be able to do anything. It's nuts. Complain about ads is such a first world problem, though. It is a massive first world problem. Absolutely. I don't get how people are so intellectually dishonest with this conversation. Everybody is going into YouTube knowing that YouTube makes its money off of ads. So whenever you're consuming YouTube with no ads, this isn't good for YouTube. Why would you be surprised that YouTube doesn't want you to do something that's not good for them? How can you be so delusional and so entitled 
that you think that you deserve free entertainment without even having to watch a 15 second ad, a two minute ad even, a five second and then you can skip it ad? Get the fuck out of here. It's just such a, it's the amount of ads, then don't watch it. What the fuck is wrong with you? We're not talking about insulin. We're not talking about bread. We're not talking about oil. We're not talking about, um, like a road. This is a fucking YouTube video. This is a YouTube video that's a clip from a fucking movie from 10 years ago. What are you talking about that this is necessary? You don't need this. Jesus Christ. Some people are so fucking delusional. Too bad as I'm watching your videos without ads still. I don't care if people watch my videos without ads. It doesn't matter to me. Now, it's great if people see the ads on the YouTube videos. That's awesome, right? We get more money. But if somebody doesn't do that, we'll survive. It doesn't really matter. Like, I'll always figure out a way to do it because I don't have to deal with things on the same scale as YouTube. Don't watch Asmon Takes. But the, but the truth is, though, it is that easy. But like, wait a minute, What's, wh what is more complicated than don't watch? How can you possibly make it any more complicated than that? The only problem I have with ads, two of the same ads over and over and over again. Some of the ads are literal porn, others are scams, links to viruses. I'd be okay with everything you're saying if the ads were actually curated. Google have been scum fucks about this. I think that that's a separate problem, but I think that a lot of the people that are going to latch on to that and say, oh, that's really why, I don't believe them. I think that a lot of people just don't want to see ads and they're looking for some sort of moral justification for why they're in the right for saying that. Uh, I don't actually believe that people... I don't think that that's actually somebody's line. I just think that it's morally convenient to say that. So yeah, I, I think that that's just bull. It's just bullshit. Uh, let's read a few of the comments here. We'll uh, we'll look at them. Uh, you block origin. Yep, there you go. Just do this right here, and that solves it. I don't know if that's going to happen, uh, but I have no idea. A whole generation learning how to code, so they ain't got to hear about charming tissue paper. No, I don't think that you. Uh, I think that people really have a a very distorted viewpoint on things. Uh, after only watching YouTube with ad blockers, watching a couple videos without it was an amazing sh shitty experience. Damn near clawed my eyes out before I set up uBlock Origin correctly. Uh, personally, I've watched a lot of videos on at least like my phone with ads, and it's not really that bad. I, I don't have YouTube Premium or anything like that. I don't mind YouTube ads. I mind Twitch ads because the broadcast continues. Yeah, I think Twitch ads are way worse. Definitely. It is bad? Yeah. Anyone think the usage of allow list is weird? Yeah, a white list is now racist. It's funny because one of those things wasn't racist until you said something. All colors are now connotative to racism. That's right, guys. Uh, that's right. Uh, and the reason why is that people that work in HR departments need a job. And so if they don't invent problems like this, they'll all get fired. So, yeah, it's pretty simple. Let's see here. Uh, the more YouTube tries to imitate bigger TV, the bigger TikTok is going to get. Doesn't TikTok have ads? I'm pretty sure TikTok has ads, right? Yeah, they do. Okay, I thought so. Just means no more now. If they want to play hardball, then let them. Only serves to hurt their own website. I love how... And this is, this is such a funny thing. It's like another internet user power fantasy. What you have to understand about internet users is that they are the lowest common denominator of humanity. They have no self-control, no collective intelligence, no ability to collectively bargain for anything. All they are are mindless eaters that get taken advantage of and fucked by corporations. And if you want an example of me proving myself right, because this is the difference between me and the people that like to tell me I'm wrong, is that I have examples. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. Netflix. There we go. I looked this up before. So everybody was talking about how Netflix was going to kill their company by limiting password sharing, uh, you know, limitations. And guess what happened? Netflix pa uh, password sharing crackdown delivers a jolt of new customers. Look at that. So actually, in every single instance of this being the case, it simply is not reflected. And their stock price went up. There you go. But yet Netflix is now trending down because of it in the long term. You think Netflix is trending down because of that in the long term? I would say Netflix might be trending down in the long term because there's 17 other streaming services and whenever they first came out, there was only Netflix. Uh, yeah, what, what, a, what a logical thing to say. So we can uh, expect YouTube Premium to become cheaper with everyone watching ads now, that'd be dope. Uh, I don't know how much YouTube Premium is. I don't, I don't even have it. Uh, so yeah, so I'm use Firefox main browser, which allows the extension of my ad blocker on YouTube. Yeah, mine's always worked. I've never had that problem. 
Plop the web elements with U block. Yeah, I don't know exactly how this works. Uh, as soon as I see it and I cannot get around it, I'm done with YouTube. End of. Oh my god. These people really believe that they're going to stop consuming free entertainment. I just find it to be hilarious. The cap is unreal. People are so fucking weird. It, it is astonishing to me that people beat their chests over this kind of stuff and think that anyone should take them seriously. People are coping hard. Yeah, they're coping so hard. The moment they enforce ads, an alternative platform will take YouTube's place. The moment that they enforce ads, Twitch started enforcing ads and there wasn't an alternative platform that took its place. Twitch still has a massive market share over the live streaming market to a tremendous degree. I understand that, like, you can't use a theoretical whenever the theoretical circumstance that you're talking about has already happened and the outcome that you're bringing up doesn't make sense and didn't happen. Like, and I have no problem talking about reality, but let's talk about that. Let's not talk about, oh, well, this is what I, this is what everybody is going to do. No, it's not. It's not even what you're going to do. You're going to say you're going to do it, and then you won't do it. I stopped watching Twitch when my ad blocker stopped working. Equips brought me here today. Um, oh, yeah. And if I get an ad, I'll just stop watching a video whenever it gets on YouTube. Oh, yeah. I'm sure there's some people like that. But the truth is that most people are not. And this is what I think is, it's so funny to me how delusional people are. It really is. They actually think that ads don't work. If ads don't work, then why do companies keep paying for them? Why do, why does you think this keeps happening? I know ads work because I do ads. I know ads work because I pay people to run ads. I know what the numbers are. And you know what I can say? They work. Ads do work. And there's always these people that speak in generalities whenever they're only speaking about themselves. And oftentimes, even whenever they're speaking about themselves, they're lying. But the truth is that ads work incredibly well. They are massively successful. It's like the Reddit strike. Nobody's going anywhere because there's nowhere else to go. Sure, Rumble exists, but not all creators use it. You're exactly right. And I actually hope that Rumble gets more popular. I think that it's better for a free market if we have multiple competitors in the space. But I can guarantee you if Rumble ever gets as popular as YouTube does, they'll probably start doing the same thing. So the truth is that because they just can't host the website if everybody's blocking ads, yeah, like you just can't, you can't pay for it. It's just the numbers just don't add up, right? I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't matter like what you think is fair or not fair. It's just like they don't add up and that's, that's it. So it's either it exists this way or it doesn't exist. In the chat, do you have a new business model? Well, no, they don't. And because people don't want to contribute to a business model. They want to consume free entertainment with no restrictions. And big surprise, nothing in life is free. Unless you steal it. And guess what? If you steal something, every once in a while, people might ask for it back. Thought about buying a uh, Starforge PC since seeing your pin note on Twitch. Why do you think we pin it? So, you have to remember that the reason why my YouTube videos were very popular is because I was very good at min-maxing and doing things in a very effective way. I even went to college for it. I have a degree in business administration. I was pursuing a more advanced degree whenever I dropped out to play video games. So, I understand these numbers very well. And let me tell you, they work. Do you think advertising needs to be more integrated into content and society to be more effective, for example, in video games? I think that most forms of advertising are bad. And I think that they're not effective. I can't really talk a lot about this because I have a lot of insider information that is not something that people would want to be made public. But what I can say is that Every single time that I have done any form of advertisement, I outperform basically everybody else by multiples. And the reason why is because I know how to sell something much better than other people do. I do. Sell me this pen. Well, okay. <laughs>
<laughs> oh yeah, the Wolf of Wall Street, right? Yeah, give me something to write on. Yeah, of course. And um, anyway, why are they arguing with you? They're arguing with me because they're the reason why people argue with me is because they don't want to acknowledge that I am an authority on the subject. Because if they acknowledge that I'm an authority on the subject, they acknowledge that they are not. And I am more of an authority than they are. And if that is the case, then me telling them that they're wrong means more to them, so they don't want to admit that. That's the reason. That's what makes sense. Yeah, you know, some people just hate authority. Some people just hate being told that they're wrong. I think everybody does. I get it. When do you think ads cross the line from being part of the norm to being intrusive? Um, I don't know. Uh, I, I haven't really thought a lot about the ethics of it, to be honest with you. Um, you know, I, I've never really had to, like, deal with it myself personally, and I've never really had any control over it. Uh, I think in general, advertising things that are... I, I, I don't know. I'd, I'd have to really think about it. Like, I have no idea. Uh, I'm sure there's some things that are problematic and unethical. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't have, like, a million... I don't have a list. Like, to be honest, this isn't really a topic that I've really thought a lot about philosophically in terms of, like, which ads are ethical, which ones are not. You remember the last time you were wrong? Well, I don't know. I think probably yesterday. I mean, to be honest with you, let's see here. Um, this is a dynamic ad for VPN that shows your IP address. Main reason is that you want to be entertained, not be told what you can buy or order. Yep, there you go. Um, uh, you know, you're right, but we don't give a fuck and we will continue to skip ads for as long as we can. I'd rather YouTube burn than pay for it. I r I'd rather you use I than we. Because... And I know this gonna, uh, is going to upset people, but there is no we, there is an I. Don't talk for anybody else except for yourself. And from every bit of observable data that I have found, there is no we. Where's the evidence of implementing massive ad campaign helping? Um, okay, so you can look at multiple bits of evidence. So how can you tell that massive ad campaigns are actually helping? Uh, number one, YouTube is now profitable, whereas in the past it was not profitable, which means that the increase in ads actually caused YouTube to become more profitable. Uh, also, I think that you cannot entirely just uh, attribute that to the scalability of YouTube because the majority of ads are being shown in first world countries and the scalability of YouTube was mainly affected in third and second world countries because of them becoming uh, more like connected to the internet in the last like maybe five to ten years. So that's number one. Uh, so you have YouTube continuing to make more money. And then you have the second thing that continues to make more money is Twitch. Twitch makes more money. Where's the proof? Where, where's, what do you mean, where's the proof? What do, you, do, you want me to, do you want me to just get out on, you want me to just like open up the amount of revenue YouTube has made every year? So it's crazy how, it's, it's crazy how graphs just do not give a fuck about how you feel, isn't it? Isn't it awesome? How you just have data that it doesn't matter whether you think that something is one way or not, it means nothing. So YouTube has made more and more and more money every single year. Facts don't care about your feelings, and isn't it beautiful? Looks like it's going down though. Really? You think YouTube has gone down slightly ever since the global pandemic that caused everybody in the entire world to be inside? You really think that it going down 10% is evidence of advertising? Really? Huh. Huh. I'm going to go ahead and give my final take on this because we can just argue about it forever. Um, basically, yes, people will continue watching ads. I don't think that people will stop watching YouTube. I think the people that are saying they are are either such a single digit, probably a percentage of one digit minority, uh, that they are inconsequential and irrelevant whenever you're making decisions. Uh, those are the people that will actually act. And these are people that, that will act. Most people will not act. And I am saying like 99% of people will not act. So the truth is, especially not at on this level. Uh, is there a breaking point? Yes. Watching a five second skippable ad is not the breaking point though. I don't think so for a lot of people. And that's, you know, again, evidenced by data. Um, Obviously, a lot of people don't like seeing ads. Um, are you a bad person if you're using ad blocker? No, but I do think that you are actively, you are actively avoiding, you are avoiding contributing to something that you know is a transaction. You know that YouTube makes money with ads. You know that if YouTube couldn't run any ads, YouTube could not exist. And you willfully 
watch the ads anyway. Or so you, you block the ads anyway. And you know what I think? I think that's totally fucking fine. You can do whatever you want, but don't for a fucking second try to come in here and justify it. Steal it with a smile. You know, I always like seeing the guys that, you know, burn down a Walmart and then they run out of it with TVs and then they don't do an interview and talk about how they're stealing the TV for their family. They're stealing it because they want to. Because it's a free fucking TV. And you know what? They got some games with it too. And why? Oh, th what do you think about capitalism? I don't give a fuck what cap- I don't even know what capitalism is, but I know what a 70 inch TV is because it's at my house right now. Suck my dick. And so that's what's good. Steal it with a fucking smile. Don't try to act like you're Robin Hood.